100 days of hardcore Minecraft. That is a lot. Over 30 hours of in-game time. Now what if I do that but I had no access to trees and any land of any sort? Welcome to 100 days in an ocean-only world inspired by Paul GG and Luke the Notable. My goals for this series is to at least get some netherite armor and also to slay the dragon. That's enough talking, let's jump right into this video. Now if you've seen the title and thumbnail, you'll know that this is part 2 of a 3 part series, check out part 1 down in the description and comment section down below. Well it is day 34 and I want to say thank you for all of your helpful comments about how to get leather. I actually had no idea that you could get leather from trading with piglins, so we are going to give that a shot today. Well finally we will actually put our gold to some use, let's bring this stuff into the nether. Alright so coming out, I don't really see any piglins near me. Uh, yeah, there's some bad news. There's not really any piglins anywhere near me. I've had to travel pretty far to try to find some, taken a lot of fall damage, which is not ideal. But finally, we were able to find some piglins right down here. It's gonna be a struggle to get down, but we will move. And so I eventually picked out these two right here and began trading with them. I got the advancement, ooh, shiny. It took a few tries, but eventually these guys decided to give me some leather. It was four leather, in fact, which is a lot. Way more than I was getting from fishing, so all you guys that encouraged me to do this, thank you so much. It's really sick saving me so much time. Once I used up all the gold pieces that I had, I checked my inventory and I had 11 pieces of leather. Very nice considering this barely takes any work. Before I left though, I gathered some gold and some quartz as well. I'm gonna use this gold to trade with these guys more. Well back at home, I'm thinking about getting a silk touch pickaxe for mining this gold because I get way more gold out of it if I get a silk touch pickaxe. Because mining the nether gold ore without a silk touch pickaxe only gives you about like 6 gold nuggets or so around that number, 6 or 7, but mining with a silk touch pickaxe gives you a whole bar. After using all the leather that we got today, I was able to make four new bookshelves. And now after placing them all down, I can get level 10 enchants, which I don't remember what the last one was, but this one has to be better. Plus we can get efficiency too now on this iron axe, so this has to be an improvement. So after doing a bunch of exploring, I'm gonna take some time and work on our base, because there's still so much I want to do with it. It's not just gonna be this one platform. Now there was a lot of materials that I had to gather to build this base, but I finally started to get to work, which is what you are watching in this time lapse. Now later on in the time lapse, you'll notice that I had to break some stuff off because after building two more of the like segments I realized that they were like one block too big so I had to go back and completely change everything which was super annoying. I always mess up on these kind of things. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Here is what we got. I've got like four sections kind of coming out and you can see that I'm kind of trying to connect all four of these sections with like a pathway that'll make this whole base like really circular at the end. It's gonna take a while though. I'm not too close to getting that thing done. I just need to smelt some more stone and get some more coal as well. So with our newly smelted gold, I'm gonna take the rest of this and bring it into the nether. We're gonna be trading with some more piglins for some leather. Wait a minute, that just rhymed. Luckily this time I was able to locate a piglin that was near my portal. I did not have to walk super far. Jeez, you piglins are crazy. How much gold does one need? Oh, come on. Oh, I do not want gravel, man. Please just give me some more leather. Oh, whoa, Gast, where are you coming from? Yeah, and I didn't have too much luck with leather this time. I spent over like 25 or so gold bars and I was only able to get 7 pieces of leather. Still didn't really matter that much though since we were out of paper. I'm gonna have to go back to shipwreck hunting because I don't really know how to get paper right now. I haven't seemed to found any sugarcane anywhere. This might be an issue. I woke up on day 42. It was a beautiful morning. I hopped inside of my boat. We're gonna go shipwreck hunting once again. This time we're mostly gonna be looking for paper, but books is gonna be great as well. It's harder for me to find shipwrecks now since I've like found most of them that are near my base, I was only able to come across one. But inside of this first chest, we had a lot of goodies. We had diamonds, we had iron and gold, and a bottle of enchanting which I used right after. It basically did nothing. Once I made my way to the second chest, I was delighted to see 24 pieces of paper. This was great. Of course, I snatched the chest and I decided before I was going to leave, I'm going to try to gather as much of the wood around here as I can because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be low on wood pretty soon since I'm using a lot of it on bookshelves right now. So I'm going to try to clear out as much of this as possible. Jeez, look at this shipwreck now. Well, it's actually more of what remains of it since there's not much left. It's more of a shipwreck now than it was before. Now back at home, I'm going to take one piece of this leather and I'm going to make an iron frame. I know you guys are saying, but wait, wait, one tap. Isn't this wasting? You should be using this for books. Well, just hold on, I would say, because this item frame is going to be very, very important. Trust me. I've got this empty map here, and I think I'm going to make a map of our little base. And no, that is, that isn't exactly what I did not want to see. No, dude, our base. 
base is like on the edge of the map. That, that sucks, man. I can't really do anything to fix that, so I that's kind of a rip. I, I don't really like how that looks, so I'm just gonna take that down and uh, I'll figure this out some other day. Okay, so back to the bookshelf business. I was able to craft one more bookshelf here. Oh, that, that, is, that is not a bookshelf, that's a door. Let me place that bookshelf down. We got level 14 enchants now, that's great. And now I started digging down below our base because the ravine that I used to go to is kind of far and I don't really want to swim all the way out there when I want to mine. If I had like a mine that was right below my base, it would be so much more convenient. This was pretty hard though, uh, trying to mine under all this water. I had to constantly place down doors and like readjust. Uh, I've been mining for a bit now and I still haven't come across a cave, but I can hear tons of spiders, so that's a good sign. I'm gathering some of this coal and yeah, this is kind of a nice way to just mine around. Now if I can find a cave, I'll have really easy access to it right from my base. I eventually fell into to a mine shaft. That's pretty freaking lucky, but first I'm gonna grab this iron, and then I'll go check it out. Alright, let's see how big this mine shaft is. That's not good, that's not good. Let's see, this is our last hope, and it ends. That is very tiny. Gonna have to go and mine around some more, I guess. I kept on mining, and I found a real mine shaft this time with some redstone ore. Also, I think I found where all those spider sounds were coming from, because there was a spider spawner here. Well, that is gonna fix all of our needs for string, if we ever need a bunch of string. Golden apple inside of the chest. This was a pretty great dungeon. Is this the first dungeon that we found in this world? I actually don't remember remember finding a different dungeon in here. Well, inside of the second chest, we had some melon seeds and some music discs. And there were 13 in Cat. Cat is actually one of my favorite music discs, if you did not know. But yeah, now we have melon and pumpkin seeds. That's pretty cool. And now I'm back at home. I'm trying to think about where I can put these pumpkin and melon seeds. It'll be pretty cool to have one of these in a farm. I'm thinking about kind of having them on the outskirts, maybe. But I don't really know right now. I'm just going to tuck them away inside of a chest. Well, it's time to get back to mining, I guess. So I headed back down into our previous mine shaft, And I found a amethyst geode. This is the first time I've actually ever found one since the 1.17 update. I think they're kind of rare. I don't really know what you can make with these amethyst geo thingies. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to look that up after. This stuff is really cool looking though. Oh, I forgot there's actually wooden mine shafts, man. How have I forgotten about this? I should just be getting this. It's way easier to get than shipwrecks. And so for a while, I gathered ores as well as mine up most of this geode. And soon I would come across some diamonds after trying to tunnel to some nearby mob sounds. Whoa, this one is looking like it's a big vein here. I think, is this eight vein? I think this is an eight vein. Don't mind that creeper dying in the background, but we got an eight vein of diamonds. So that is crazy. Let's go. Nearly suffocated right after that though. That was a close call. And another notable discovery was this minecart with a chest. It had some pumpkin seeds as well as a fresh iron pickaxe for me. Uh, I'm just going to trade it out. I don't know why I still have this iron pickaxe honestly i've never used it in a while we'll pass these mobs right here which i swiftly killed there was a really weird looking dirt room it was just super flat and just a bunch of dirt on the ground next to this room was another minecart with a chest and this one had a golden apple as well as some more torches and some bread pretty similar to the other one all right now my inventory is actually starting to fill up i think it might be time to head back pretty soon and dump off all of the loot that i've gathered on this trip so far Wow, my building blocks chest is actually 100% perfectly full. I'm gonna move some of these blocks and turn this chest into another building blocks chest because I know that one's gonna get full pretty soon. I also decided just to throw away this iron pickaxe. I don't really see myself using it very soon. I've got a diamond one, which is way better right now. Well, now we have 14 diamonds in total, which is crazy. I think we can make some more pieces of armor here. I'm gonna start off with a chest plate and also make a helmet as well. Cover me with diamonds. Finally, we get this achievement. Now, I'm close to level 30, but I am not close to getting a full enchantment set up, that is going to take a while. Now this whole time I've been smelting my gold, which means time to go back into the nether and trade with those piglins, because I really want to get this max enchantment table as soon as possible. That way we can actually have some good armor that we can use against the dragon in the final fight. While I was in the nether, I also collected some quartz, because this does give you some levels, and I was still trying to get to level 30. Also, while I was having some chill time with this piglin over here trading with him, a baby hoglin just came out of nowhere and started biting me, man. But luckily, it ran away after a few hits. So, we got good news and bad news. The good news is, we got two more bookshelves. And the bad news is, leather isn't really our problem anymore, it's more about paper. And I think we all know what that means. It's time to head back onto our spruce boat over here and find some more shipwrecks. Let's go. Paper really is a pain to get. So we've done this about a billion times in this series, but I found one of my old shipwrecks and the first chest I looted, but I missed the second chest. And inside the second chest, we had a bunch of paper as well as bamboo. I think that's really good. I don't know what I can do with bamboo, but I know it's pretty rare in like a normal world. Well, that's interesting. We could always use it as like an infinite fuel source if we really need to. I also spotted this underground sand structure right here. Had a chest inside with some wheat and an empty map. 
Once I arrived home on this rainy night, I was able to craft two more bookshelves. We are really getting close now. We have a level 22 in chance. We are definitely gonna hit it soon, man. I can feel it. I spent the next two or so days smelting some more stone and constructing the rest of this circular outline on the outside of our base. I think I want to have some more areas that I can build off of on the edge of this circle as well, so we just have tons of opportunities to expand even more. I also think I'm actually going to move my enchantment setup to like an outside area on the circle, so I'm going to have to get some more wood so I can rebuild all those bookshelves when moving it. So now that I'm done with this outer circle, I'm going to take some cobblestone and make a bunch of slabs. I'm thinking about behind this portal right here, I might create like a platform or something extending off of this main circle where mobs can spawn because it could be a good way of getting XP because right now I've barely fought in any hostile mobs so I think this might be helpful kind of to make like a really crude mob spawner basically. I was kind of contemplating if I wanted to make it look nice or not with like a circle but in the end I ultimately decided to make it a square because I might end up tearing this down later on because this probably won't look too good but I just want it for now so I can actually have some access to mobs. Okay Pigman you gotta get out of here I can't have these kids keep on spawning in here and going into the overworld. You're not allowed here man. Alright, anyway, this is kind of the square. I probably need to make it bigger. I think it's an 11 by 11 right now. Um, I just don't want to spend too much time making like a mob spawner platform. It's not that important. So on day 59, I was actually in the middle of the nether with a bunch of building blocks and a clean inventory because we were heading over to- Hey, hey, chill! I'm trying to talk right now, man. Get rid of you as well. There we go. Anyways, we're a little over halfway through the 100 days mark, and I need to get some Eye of Enders to actually fight the Ender Dragon, and I think it's probably a good time now to start finding a nether fortress in the nether. Time to start my journey. I found one about 600 or so blocks away from my main spawning point, which is not too bad. Also some cores here, and seeing that I'm almost level 30, I'm just gonna go get these real quick and see if I can level up. Let's go, level 30, now we just gotta get those bookshelves in as fast as possible. We can get ready for some great enchants now. We are now inside of the nether fortress because we got the achievement, a terrible fortress. Let's go see what this place has to offer for us. The main thing we're looking for are blaze spawners, ooh glowstone over here. I also killed a bunch of wither skeletons, but none of them dropped me a skull, which I kind of expected because that was going to take a really long time, since they're super rare. I did, however, find a blaze spawner, but this is when it kind of dawned on me that I needed a bow to fight these guys because with my bare, f or not bare fists, with my sword at least meleeing them, it was a lot harder trying to get closer to them, it was just more dangerous. But I'm not going back just for a bow, so I guess I'm just going to have to suck it up. There we go, finally got our first blaze rod. I think I'm going to get like 8 or 9 of these, that should be enough I think. And so for the next couple of days, I stayed inside of the fortress looting the chests as well as farming the blazes. I was able to get about 9 blaze rods at the end, so I consider this a successful trip. But as you can see in this clip right here, I was getting attacked by piglins at the same time, it was kind of a mess. Before we leave though, I wanted to do one more thing. I'm going to gather these nether words right here because I might end up doing some potion brewing for the dragon fight. Not 100% sure though because I probably will not need it. Ah, uh, home sweet home, it's good to be back. Thank you, Nether, for all the stuff that you gave us, but I like the overworld one billion times better, I'm sorry. Also, I was able to craft four Ice of Ender because I already had four Under Pearls. I'm guessing I got that from trading with the Piglins, but now I think the only thing left we really gotta worry about is just making our enchantment table maxed. I'm probably gonna need a little bit more paper as well as a little bit more leather, but paper is gonna be the hardest thing to get for sure. So right now, since we have level 22 enchants, I'm pretty sure, let's see, we got Projectile Protection 4 on our helmet and Fire Protection 3 on our chest plate. Not the greatest, uh, I want actual protection, so we're gonna have to wait on that. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Why are you guys always coming through my portal? I said you're not allowed here. Well, since all we need is basically just paper, since leather is really easy to get, I went on out on a hopefully final journey to find some shipwrecks to get paper. And at this point, I've done it a billion times, so here's just some highlights. And paper chest, let's go. Well, it was a dark rainy night when I arrived home, but I had 26 paper in total now. That has to be enough. Now it's just time to get some leather. Let's go, day 66, we're officially two thirds of the way there. I spent this day trading with piglins, just the usual, you know what we gotta do to get leather. Okay, I just realized I put some books in the trash chest by accident. I think I got those from shipwreck hunting. But now, uh, let's craft up our bookshelves. We're gonna need a lot of wood for this. All right, bookshelf. We can make five of them. That's gotta be enough, surely. Now when I place them in, that's level 24, come on. Yes sir, that is level 30 enchants. I got an extra bookshelf though, which I'm just gonna place down in the corner. Oh, uh, that's looking sick. We got level 30 max enchantments now. Time to go on an enchanting spree. I'm enchanting my chest plate first. We got protection four. Let's see what we got on it though. Ah, uh, it's only protection four. That kind of hurts, but that is great. Protection four is always great. And yeah, helmet, not looking too good. I think I might just go for a reroll here, but I do not have a grind zone right now. And I also do not have enough levels, so that's kind of a rip. I'm gonna just wear this armor for now though. It's pretty good.
Now guys, that is going to conclude the second episode of the Ocean Only World. Now here are some comments of people from the last episode that stayed to the very end commenting Ocean Only Gang. Congrats on making your way into the video. Now if you want to make it into the next video, hmm, I'm trying to think right here. Let's make the words, smash that like button. So basically if you comment, smash that like button, you'll have a chance to be featured in the next episode. Also I just want to say thank you for the support recently, a lot of new people have been coming to my channel, and I'm super happy that you guys are here. Well anyway, that is basically all I wanted to say, I hope all of you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll We'll see you guys next time.